Liverpool Football Club had been 85 years in existence when Howard Gale arrived in 1977. He wasn't just another footballer, he was Liverpool FC's first black footballer. That fact alone guarantees his place in the history books of the club, but there is so much more to Gale than that. He not only blazed a trail for black footballers at Liverpool but has worked on many levels to ensure kids in the city get a good grounding to succeed in the game and in life in general. My dad came over to this country after the war. He was a seaman and as there was shortage of labour here he decided he was going to settle here. He met my mum in Liverpool. Her parents were from Ghana so there was a West African cultural feel about our family. Originally we lived in Toxteth which was the area where most of the black families were. In 1958, the year I was born, we moved up to Norris Green which is the north end of the city. It was difficult times for me there going to an all-white school. It was a devious approach by the city council saying that they moved us up there to refurbish our house in Toxteth. They pulled our house down without our permission, so we were stuck there. My mum was always going to the housing office to get a transfer back. I'm the youngest of four. I'm sure she was aware of what me and my sister had to endure. My two brothers moved back up to Toxteth within months of moving up to Norris Green. There were difficult obstacles I had to overcome. I always say things happen for a reason. It taught me how to play football. It gave me that enthusiasm to want to play on a professional level although I thought that would never ever happen. Black players were a rarity in the 60s and 70s in the UK and it was only then that black players were starting to break through into the professional world of football. I've been through the whole genre at Liverpool. I have been a home and an away fan. I fought on the terraces at most grounds up and down the country. I was what they call a football hooligan before I became a player. I was one of their own who had moved from the terraces to the field. My father was an Evertonian, but my mom, my two brothers and my sister were all Reds. When I was 17 I started to get into trouble with the police, starting to do robberies in shops, the petty things were starting to get bigger. We ended up getting caught and sent to a detention centre. When we I came out I started playing football back in Toxteth for a Sunday league team called Bedford. The manager knew somebody at Liverpool. That's where it all started. Gale recently made national headlines for declining his nomination for an MBE for his work with charity show Racism The Red Card Gale explained his decision by explaining, Unfortunately I had to decline the nomination for the reason that my ancestors would be turning in their graves after how empire and colonialism had enslaved them. This is a decision that I have had to make and there will be others who may feel different and would enjoy the attraction of being a member of the British Empire and those three letters after their name, but I feel that it would be a betrayal to all of the Africans who have lost their lives or who have suffered as a result of empire. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.